Today I would like to take some time to discuss how to set default coolant on in your toolpath operations. Anyone who's used Mastercam before has probably come across this where you want to use the same coolant type for the same operation throughout your toolpaths and you constantly have to go in and set your coolant for all your operations. So today I'm going to show you how to default that on or off or to a different setting. It could be coolant, it could be through tool, it could be an air blast depending on how your machine or your post is set up. But I'm going to show you how to set that up in your tool pass. My name is Chris Lang. I'm a CAD CAM application engineer who works for in-house solutions. So I'm going to be presenting this webinar to you today. So the webinar will cover how to modify operation defaults and set an operation default with a specific post processor. So what we're going to do is we're going to set operation defaults for a post. Then we're going to link the operation defaults to that machine definition file. So when you load that machine definition, it will load in the machine definition, the control definition, the post, and these new operation defaults. So to start, I'm going to pick a machine and I'm going to pick a mill. And I'm just going to load the default mill for now. And then I'm going to pick the plus next to properties and click on files. Now I'm going to go and actually select the machine or the post I want to use for this presentation. So I'm going to pick this Mitsubishi LU TNC. So once I've selected that, it brings in the Mitsubishi control and the Mitsubishi post here. And I'm going to use the mill inch tool library and the mill inch operation library. And right now I have it set to the mill inch default library. And this is what we're going to actually modify here shortly. So if I choose OK, I can see my machines loaded here and I'm just going to quickly sketch a rectangle and I'll put a contour toolpath on here just to show you the default settings that are currently set up. So right now if I wanted to use flood coolant I'd have to come in here and set it and say I want that on after the tool change. It's, it's a minor thing to do but it can be frustrating if you've programmed maybe a hundred uh, tool paths and some of them you want flood on and some of them you want maybe through tool on and maybe another five or ten you want an air blast on and you haven't set any of the coolant types on so you have to go back through all those operations and set them up so if we want to default those on so we never have to look at that again or maybe just check it once in a while to make sure they are on what we can do is go and open the shared folder I've added a quick uh, icon here so I can get to it quickly. I'm going to go to the mill folder and operations folder here. And this mill inch.mcam-default file is the one that we're going to modify. Now before we start to modify this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it just in case something gets corrupt, then I still have a copy of the original one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this dash defaults here. So right now it's mill inch slash copy dot mcam. Since it's an mcam file I can actually open this file within mastercam. And you'll see all the operations that are saved in that mcam file. Right now under properties you'll notice the machine that I selected isn't there anymore. So what we can do is we can go in and we can actually load that machine. So let me pick the Mitsubishi machine definition and it's going to come up saying that some operations need to be modified to run with this machine. I'll accept that and then we can see the Mitsubishi machine definition, control definition and posts are now loaded into this mill inch default file. So now I can go into contour here and I can say I want flood coolant on after the tool change apply that, choose OK. And then I could go into the pocket operation and say for pocketing I want through coolant on after the tool change. And I'll do one more operation, I'll do a drilling operation. And this drilling one I'll do flood coolant again and I'll say with. So I've changed those three operations and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file 
save as and put it back in this folder. Now I'm going to change the name of this file and I'm going to call it millinch mitsubishi.mcam for now. I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go and open up this operation folder and find my millinch mitsubishi.mcam file click on it and add a dash defaults to it. So now I'll start another new file. We'll pick a machine again. And what I want to do right now before I set it as a default is I just want to make sure that those settings actually took. So I'm going to put this Mitsubishi machine in. And you can see right now it's using the mill inch defaults file. So I'm going to go and open the mill inch Mitsubishi file, the one we just modified. And choose OK. So let me sketch a rectangle again. I'm just going to do a very basic part here. I'm going to go to tool pass, contour, click here. So let's go down to our coolant settings and you can see flood coolant is on after the tool change. Let's do a drill operation next. Flood coolant is on with the tool change and we'll do a pocket operation. And you can see through tool is on after the tool change. So I can see that those defaults stuck in that operation file. So now I can go and link that file to this machine definition. So to do that, I'm going to go to the machine tab, open up the machine definition. And now I want to click on the control definition. And then under control topics, I'm going to go to files. And under the default operation inch library, I'm going to set this to my mill inch Mitsubishi dot mcam dash defaults file. I'm going to save that and then I'm going to do this one more time for the default settings. So I'm going to go here, pick that same file I just picked. Save that. Then choose save, OK, save, OK. And here we want to say yes. So I'm going to start a new file and I'll select a machine and I will load my Mitsubishi machine. And now I can see the machine definition, control definition, and post. And now it's pulling the mill inch Mitsubishi default file. So now if I go and create a simple rectangle and go to tool paths and do a contour tool path on here. And if I go to my coolant, I can see my flood coolant is on and it's set to after the tool change. So if I go to drill tool path, choose OK and go to coolant, I can see the flood is on with a tool change. And if I do a pocket tool path and pick my coolant, I can see through tool, coolant is on and it's set to after the tool change. Now if I were to do a facing tool path and choose OK, I can see my coolant is not turned on because I didn't set up the defaults for that operation type. So when we were in there modifying the operations, we could have modified any of the parameters that are set in here. So if you're constantly going in and changing a parameter such as your lead in lead out percentages, you can default those percentages in that file when you set up your coolant type. If you have any questions about this webinar or would like to contact us regarding future webinars, please feel free to send us an email at info at in-house solutions.com. And if you want to find out about any future webinars, please subscribe to our newsletter at www.inhousesolutions.com forward slash subscribe.
This will conclude the webinar for defaulting coolant on in your toolpath operations.